Might see a patch or two of frost, Melissa, so we'll be keeping an eye on that one for you. All right. Thank you, Fish. Yep. Well, it is football season, which means beer brats and buffalo wings, and you can see me wearing an apron. So are you planning to cook up some wings for the Packers game today? Well, this morning we have some tips from an expert. Craig Peterson is the owner of Buffalo Water Beer Company in Milwaukee. And Good morning, Melissa. We have a great recipe. We do. We do. When we came up with the profile for the beer, we tried to come up with a beer that tasted great with spicy foods and buffalo wings. Mm -hmm. And while we were going through that process, we found out that we have a beer that makes the buffalo wing better. Hey, that's what we like to hear. So if anybody has an interest on the recipe, it's on our website, www.buffalowater.com. But it's very simple. You go to the store and you buy a whole wing. Let me just grab a, a glove here. Mm -hmm. And you grab the wing and you get your kitchen shears and you cut the wing up into the the drumstick and then the little part that's the, the normal size, like mm -hmm. the elbow, and then you cut off the winglet. Okay. And then this is the most critical part here. After you've rinsed it and you put it in the baking dish, mm -hmm. where well, you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And this is about three pounds of buffalo wings. Oh, okay. So then you, it's about 25 wings for three pounds. You take buffalo water, bison blonde. That's great beer. I tried it the last time we had you on the show, and it has a great taste. And I like that there's not much aftertaste. No, it has a very nice, dry, subtle taste uh -huh. at the end. And it's not too hoppy. And it just has a wonderful profile that goes with spicy foods. And when you bake, so now we would take this and we'd place this in the oven for 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay. And then when you're all done, you drain the juices. You're going to have a nice golden buffalo wing. Mm -hmm. And these aren't deep fried, so they're much better for you. And when you drain it, you drain a lot of the fats that are in the skin. Okay. So then what we do is while that's baking, we take our celery. Okay. We chop that up. We take our... The traditional um, uh, blue, blue cheese, cheese dressing is, uh, is Marie's. The traditional hot sauce is Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce from mm -hmm. the Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. And, and with the magic of television. With the magic of television. Da -da -da. After, after we have drained them, we put the Frank's white, red, red Hot Sauce on. Mm -hmm. We have our, our baskets over here with our celery. And it already looks good. And we're all set to go. Yeah, it's a great idea for Packers games, even, I mean, watching the Brewers game, anything like that. And this is a lot lighter than, than deep-fried buffalo wings. Oh, wow. What can you tell us about Buffalo Water? Buffalo Water Beer Company? We're doing quite well. We've expanded um, tremendously in the last couple of months. We started, we actually started production of the beer last year in September. We mm -hmm. started lagering in October. We started kegging in November. Started selling on-premise to bars and restaurants in December. And we started bottling in May. And ever since we started bottling, we've just blossomed. We're statewide. You can find us throughout the whole metropolitan area. You can find us at, at Woodman's throughout the state, Sendix, the finer liquor stores throughout the uh, metropolitan area, and some of your finer and trendier and, and fun bars in the Milwaukee area. Wonderful. So you can go out, buy some of the Bison Blonde, go to your website, check out um, the recipe, and then you're all set. And we call these Buffalo Water Wings. Perfect. Well, we also have the recipe on our website, todaystmj4.com. Click on the link section, and you'll be all set there. And we'll be right back after this break.